Welcome folks, I am Technivorous. Today this video is going to be short and sweet. We are going to take a look at how to adjust the nozzle size in your settings in Kira and it's pretty straightforward so let's jump right into it right now. Hey folks, Technivorous here. If you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button but stick around because today we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting stuff I don't think you're going to want to miss. And here we are in Kira, all right? So this is, as I said, pretty straightforward, but there are a couple things that you need to make sure that you're looking at when changing this. So the first thing you're gonna do when you wanna change your nozzle size is go ahead and go up here and select this bar right here. Um, this is your filament profile, and it's also your hot end profile. So we're gonna go down here to where it says nozzle size, and here you have quite a few selections. Now, if the nozzle size you need is not in here, um, you need to add it into the files in the Kira directory. So you'll have to make more adjustments and, and that is something we'll cover in a different video. But for now, um, most nozzle sizes are already listed and included. So you can go ahead and select whatever nozzle size you would like. Now, you need to notice that when I change from a four millimeter nozzle to a two millimeter nozzle, that is gonna double the amount of walls I need to get the same thickness and other settings will be adjusted as well. So my wall thickness at my wall line count of three is now 0.6 millimeters. Let's go back to my regular profile here. You can see it was double that with the same wall count. So this means that my walls are gonna be super, super thin. And because of the way that things work with the flow rates of different size nozzles, it doesn't necessarily mean that the infill is gonna show through on my model but there is still a pretty good chance that that would happen. So I'm gonna wanna increase this um, by increasing this number right here. And if I just change it back to 1.2 and hit enter, it automatically doubles my wall line count down here. So that is really the main setting you need to be aware of when changing nozzles, uh, excuse me, nozzle diameters, but it can also affect your layer height as well. So you might wanna keep a close eye on that and see if you need to make any adjustments as well. Normally, it really isn't much of a deal. However, if you have a really, really large nozzle, you can get away with slightly larger layer heights. And if you have a really, really tiny nozzle, you can get away with slightly lower layer heights than what is spec to your printer with the nozzle it has on it. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't mess with that setting at all until I get a print out of this and see what it looks like. And as you can see the top and bottom thickness because they're determined by layers and the layer height, they remain unchanged by the nozzle size. So you are gonna get different patterns of infill doing a single line at different percentages with a thinner nozzle uh, because in order to get that same percentage with a thinner nozzle, it will require more lines of the infill pattern. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Anything else that you need to be worried about here, I think is pretty much covered. Your retraction has nothing to do with your nozzle diameter. It mostly has to do with the length of the throat of your hot end. However, you might find yourself making slight adjustments of a half a millimeter in either direction, depending on how much you change your nozzle size in order to prevent oozing while the hot end is hot. So um, also, uh, I wouldn't mess with this setting until after you do a print and make sure that you er, everything is copacetic and working properly. Um, obviously, if you get a nice model, you don't really need to adjust any of this. Cooling, support, adhesion, all the rest of that, none of that really matters. Like I said, the main thing that's going to be affected by your nozzle diameter here is the wall width. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the proper nozzle selected. So if you change back, make sure that you change it back. And now it's asking me if I want to keep or discard the changes. I'm going to discard them because I uh, don't want six lines in my thicker wall count here. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Super simple. I hope it was helpful for you. I'd had some questions on how to change and adjust the nozzle size. It's pretty much all you have to do. Um, there are some other settings in the printer. Let's see. In machine settings. Um, but these are, are, I mean, it's offset and stuff like that. This has nothing to do with your nozzle diameter, so. And that's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. If there's anything in particular you'd like to know about Kira, leave it in the comments. I make these videos quite regularly, and I like to do them in response to questions. So as I said, we will cover how to 
add additional nozzle diameters. It's not something you come across very often, but we will put that up in another video as well. And hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.